Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you, living 1111. I am so fired up. I'm getting message after message of people telling me they are living in divine health now. The miracles happening in their lives. People making three times as much money as they used to do. Getting that relationship, getting that career they wanted. Everything coming into alignment, synchronicity, 1111, living higher frequencies, higher dimensions if you're just following me and you're living in lower dimensions low frequencies that have been implanted in you that are driving you mad because inside you know you are better than this you are more than this you are made for something better something higher my friend you've come to the right channel you were meant to be immortal you were meant to be omniscient omnipresent omnipotent you might be saying magus that is god how can you dare speak like that because i am a child of god i am created in his image and so are you and deep inside you know this is true i've seen i've lived all three of those when i was taken in spirit to save my child for those of you who haven't heard this story for about two weeks, God was telling me that danger was coming. The wolf was at the door trying to destroy me and my family. Then he took me in spirit to the bottom of my ex-wife's driveway and had me stand there. So now I am omnipresent. I am now miles away in spirit in a different place. He gave me words to say that made a force field, a shield, blocking the driveway from the street. Now I am omnipotent. I am omniscient because I know what's going to happen ahead of time. Before it even takes place in time and space, I know what's going to happen. I put up that shield of faith. I speak the language of angels and power. And I put up a shield. And then later that day, my wife calls me and tells me, you'll never believe what happened. And I told her, I think I will. And she went on to tell me the story of my son going down on his scooter. And my, her ex was mowing the lawn. And so Taylor couldn't hear her screaming, a car's coming. He's about to shoot out into the street and get hit. He hits a wall and bounces back, praise God. That's power. That's magic. And that's what we're designed to be. The devil was not going to destroy my life or my family because I am a child of God. Hallelujah. If you do not have the book Asha, you need to get it. It is our holy text. It was channeled to me through the prophet. It is a magic in every word. It is that word. It is not mere words. It is a word. It is the vibration that creates magic in our world passed down for thousands of years. Number two, statement and teaching of Asha, know only good. Be intimate with only good. I know only good. I do not know destruction for me or my family. I do not know failure. If I start something, it is successful because I am successful. It is my nature. Perceive and understand only the good and let your experience and practice be the same. Be aware at all times of my high standing, always remembering the covenant written on my mind that I might not forget. I am a child of the King. Let that resonate with you. Let that vibrate in you. I am a child of of the king we are sons and daughters of the most high we are made of the very stuff that god is made of we are spirit we are power we are truth we are the real above all real praise god my friends i'm going to ask you today to bring back your birthright. You are a winner. You need to start thinking and talking like a winner. I am the head and not the tail. Everything I do is successful. I am blessed and not cursed. Can you have a change of vibration today? Come out of those low frequencies, those low vibrations. Come into 1111. Everything is always working out good for me. Praise God. 
my wonderful friends, I never want to alienate anyone. I love you. I love you. I love you. I have been to many, uh, hundreds of AA meetings, supporting, loving, helping people. I myself am not an addict, but I go to support and to help others come out of that addiction. And let me... Let me tell you this, I don't want to lose, I'm getting so many new followers. I do not want to lose any of you. I want you, though I cannot in good conscience not talk about this. I must tell you, alcohol is a spirit. It is a spirit that will destroy your life. It will destroy your destiny. It will destroy your family. You will do things and say things and hurt people. You will destroy yourself. It will kill you. And then it will drag you off to hell. Come out of it. Wake up. You must come into who you are. Do you know why I don't drink alcohol? Not only because it's a foul, evil spirit, because it's a lower vibration. Why would I take something into me that's going to make me feel worse? You might be saying, Vegas, it makes me feel better. I understand that. I'm going to teach you how to come into the higher dimensions. So if you even taste that poison on your lips, you don't like the way it makes you feel. It's dragging you down and you can feel it. Get used to walking in the high places of God, creating Asha on earth, taking dominion of the earth so that we live it to our children and our children's children. Better, a better world. Asha, the government of God. My friends, if you will realize that you are a child of God, you are love, you are life, you are peace, every day you start holding those vibrations. Listen to me. Turn off that TV. Turn off that news. They put, they implant that negative low vibration in you. So you're feeling down. You're feeling low. Then you have to drink their alcohol. Take their drugs to come back up. Stay out of that world. Go out and get underneath a waterfall. And let that energy flow over you. Go surf a wave. Go out and hug your children. Come into high vibrations. And then if you see something on the news instantly you'll go running out of the room because you don't want to see it you won't be around it you won't drink their alcohol you won't take their drugs because it's pulling you down and you realize it you we are meant to live in high high frequencies changing this world back to asha my friends i love you i love you i love you we're doing this right now my friends subscribe hit the like button tell people about it this message of the magi is just not my message it's your message it's our message we are both put in this time and space together to spread this message of asha i love you guys we'll see you tomorrow Hello my wonderful friends, Magus. If you enjoyed that message I wanted to share with you, it was given to me last night in a dream. I dreamed I was in a Colosseum with thousands of people and they walked up to me and said, Magus, we want you to speak. You have seven minutes. And I was thinking, I haven't prepared anything. And then God gave me a message and I gave that message. When I woke up, I was thinking, that is a great message. And I was going to go back to sleep, but I was thinking I might forget it. So I jumped up and I made this message for you and it ended up being seven minutes. I thought that was amazing. Wanted to share that with you. Love you guys.